Look at that autofocus. Look at it. Look at it. Pick a new target. It's how it's done. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Palmazano here again. And uh, I'm going through my comments the other day. He's, and uh, Jordan says, I've always wanted to hear you react to a Justin Towns Earl song. Unfortunately, with the recent tragic news, I'd love to hear a natural react if you're not familiar with his work. And I write back, I'm not. And wow, I just looked it up. Damn, he was young. I think he was 38 or 39. I obviously know of his father. I said, I will do this for you. So this is ice cold, ladies and gentlemen. Ice cold. Let's make it full screen. I don't think we need to do a blue. This is my starter won't start. Bad gasoline. This guitar doesn't have the right neck on it for this, but we're going to do it anyway. So I only have 12 frets on this guitar, but I need 14. Seems unlikely. So we're going to see if we can get away with it. With the capo. But you got to use the capo, baby. It's got to be. So, I, I, I love his body language. I mean, just the way that the second he starts, how he's like uncomfortably pacing around the stage and almost like hiding from the microphone. Like, he goes up to it because he knows he has to, but then pulls away from it, which is made all the more curious by the fact that the dude's wearing in-ears. I know that might seem like an odd thing to point out, but you would, the way that he's, his body language, the way that he's coming like in and out of the mic and how he's kind of staggering around the stage doesn't necessarily correlate with someone who's wearing in-ears who's totally aware of um, what's happening harmonically, like, you know, because they're like into the mix. Unless, of course, those are hearing aids. Um, let's keep going. I know that's a strange thing to point out, but it, 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 especially in this room right here, like, like I'm picturing the other side and there being like 50 people, and this is literally just right in front of an exit sign. Like, I, I, he's probably, you know what? It's probably hearing aids, and I'm just realizing that. No, he's got a cord coming out of the back. Oh, now she just won't turn, turn
All right, all right, a few things. A few things. His, his body language and energy is really unsettling. He seems uncomfortable to be doing what he's doing, which, again, it, it adds to the vibe of the tune. Like, it's a blues thing. I totally get it. And it, what he's playing mirrors that. Um, you know, it's a 1-4-5 in F sharp. He's got the capo, but he's doing this constant thumbing of the root, big open chords that are clangy with stuff ringing out, and then like a, just ripping that top string that that you know just 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 I mean ripping it with the big slap like keeping that snare hit so it's really rhythmic really dirty um, really emotional and just how he staggers across the room is just it's he's got a vibe. I just find it so interesting that he's wearing in ears with all of this. I just, I just, I just do because his whole thing is like, his whole vibe is like, I'm barely here doing this. I'm barely here hanging on, but yet my mix is perfect. You know? I, it's... That was cool. That was really cool. Where you just you're just holding a chord and you just kind of start pushing it out a key a little bit, slow it down a little bit, just just because you feel it, you know, abandoning the whole thing of oh yeah, my timing is perfect, my intonation is perfect. It's 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 not that, and it's purposefully not that. Watch it. Yeah, that. on that piece of F sharp seven. Do you see what I mean? Like, he's got his back to the audience, sang at the microphone, then immediately pulled away and went and looked outside while he's still singing. And he's listening to it with in-ears. <laughs> This is a, this is this is this is a a a um, interesting sociological uh, thing that's happening here. Again, it's it's so it's 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 a one four five and F sharp. Got the capo. He's got the really way over strong playing with the thump and the ripping the strings off. I mean, you're 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 way past. You know, when you're ripping it like that, I mean, it's just you're basically just deadening the strings, right? But it doesn't matter. That's 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 all just emotion, and then just the way he's singing how how amped up he is and the way he starts scratching his face and the way he staggers around the stage and sings at the mic then turns his back to the audience i mean it is it is like it's taking everything he has to be there at that time and do that um 
But then at the same time, you know, it's like he's sort of talking to the audience in between. And he's wearing in-ears and like he's drinking a water. You know, it's 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 a weird dichotomy. It really is. I you know I'm kind of at a loss for words. But he's tr obviously an enigma. You know, like a, you know a a um. I'm just gonna say unique, an incredibly unique performer. You know, um, if if you get nothing else from the song, you get the sense of him. You know what I mean? He is. There's no way that dude is in the room and the room isn't completely changed. That's my key takeaway from this. Uh, Justin Towns Earl, I hope you rest easy, brother. I don't know what happened to you. I'm sure it was an accident. That young, could have been drugs or alcohol. You know, especially watching this, it kind of makes me think that a little bit. But there you are, having a water, you know? I don't know. I don't know. But anyhow, thank you so much for watching this. Again, rest in peace. Um... Always a shame to lose somebody. And uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for leaving links in the comments. And for all you out there that um, are looking for an online teacher or just want to support the channel, uh, I'd love to have you click the first link and join me over at guitargate.com. That's it. I'll see you guys real soon. Cheers.